Bible created Pokemon Go. But I'm trying to figure out how we get them to have Pokemon go to the polls. Now, first of all, sorry for not posting for about two weeks. July is the most important month for me, so I had to drop YouTube for a bit. But I'll be up and posting frequently around Thursday. Right, so now that's out of the way, what the hell is Pokemon Go? Is it a waste of time? Is it sad? Is it good for you? These are the type of questions I'll be answering today. Now before I start saying my opinion on the game, we need to get some facts going. Pokemon Go is a free-to-play location-based augmented reality mobile game developed by Nyanatic for iOS and Android devices. It is a Pokemon game set in real life. Now to some of the die-hard fans of Pokemon games, this probably sounds to you like a dream come true. But for others, it might not seem that interesting. Now you can go and say, oh Dylan, it dominated the iTunes store and became the most downloaded app in the first week. Surely, most people are interested in Pokemon Go. And you are quite correct on that, my weird chubby friend. People who have never played a Pokemon game in their life are playing this game, and they're having the time of their lives with it. I, on the other hand, only started playing it when one of my friends installed the game on my phone. See kids? It's important to put passwords that your friends don't know on your phone. But seriously, I kind of like the game. Pokemon Go. It was actually quite enjoyable. I can't really see how people can call it sad if you are literally going outside, getting exercise from playing a mobile game. I mean, how people use the word sad now is just fucking stupid. Games are a hobby, possibly a job to some people. Sadness is a condition or quality of being sad. I could go on and on of how people are being done with the word sad, but that deserves its own video. Anyway, there are some downsides to the app, for example, needing a strong internet connection at all times, constant crashing, and the servers being worse than the A's. First, let's delve into the internet issue. I mean, for a Pokemon game, it is pretty surprising to see that you need constant 3G or a Wi-Fi hotspot. If you lose internet access for even a minute, you have to go close the app and reopen it again. And the worst case scenario is that you might have to go back to your house to get the internet and go all the way back to where you came from. Next, the constant crashing. It is nice to see they are working on this issue, however that doesn't mean that it has been fixed. Many players are getting pissed off how they can't collect a Mewtwo just because of a little crash, and there is a slim chance you will ever see that Pokemon again. This also ties in with the internet issue, you will have to go back to your house and head back out. The servers. I really haven't got that much to say apart from it's worse than Curry's customer support. <laughs> Is it nerdy? No, not really. I mean, I could also go on and on on how people overuse the word nerd instead of just being a really big fan of something such as Pokemon, but I'm not going to. Does it drain your battery ridiculously quickly? Yup. Is the app filled to the brim with microtransactions? <laughs> uh, they're not even micro anymore. Is this app open to everyone and not just the Pokemon fanbase? Surprisingly, yeah it is. I have never played a Pokemon game, nor my friends have either. To sum it all up, there's nothing really wrong with Pokemon Go. This app will make you feel like you're in the 80s. Kids and adults walking and cycling, becoming more active. It's not sad, it's not nerdy, it's an all around good app. If people are happy going outside and cycling around collecting virtual Pokemon, then let them if it makes them happy. Allow it to happen. Don't judge for what people like and dislike. That's called having an opinion. If people are enjoying themselves, becoming healthy as they do it, it's not a bad thing. If going outside of class is sad, I don't know what it means anymore. Anyway, I'll see you next time on the next video.